Well, well I think that it, it, there, there is a huge opportunity for Islam in this because Islam is the one religion of the three that actually recognizes uh, people in the uh, Jewish scripture and the Christian scripture. So there's, there's you know, in, in your walk, you do recognize the Gospels, you do recognize Jesus, you do recognize the prophets, you recognize all these folks that Jews and Christians do. I mean, a lot of a lot of Jews would say they recognize Jesus maybe as a prophet, but they'll definitely say he must, if he existed, he was a rabbi who was a good guy, probably a Pharisee. Um, and so, so there's a, then so Islam and someone like you who's so well read and not afraid of these conversations, you don't find it as threatening to your own faith. You, you can speak to all three, and you have such an interesting background as well, experience with these religions that, um, you know, because Christianity, yeah, we, we can speak easily with Jews because we celebrate the Jewish scripture, and Jesus was born a Jew, circumcised a Jew, and died a Jew. So when Christians are anti-Semitic or pushing Jews away, I'm sorry, they've completely missed the boat because, news alert, Jesus was a Jew. So if you're not partnering with Jews, then you're missing out on the context of who Jesus was, because everything he did was through the eyes of a Jew. Um, and so now, for for Islam, Islam is studying and looking at everything as well. It recognizes all of it. Um, and so I think there's there's some great bounty there for us to feast into and, and, and to kind of turn the narrative of how folks definitely in the States and in the West view Islam. Sometimes it's just been um, really unfortunately placed as, a, as an enemy or a um, someone who doesn't like Jews or Christians. Um, but you, my friend, are doing a valuable and invaluable ministry and saying that that's certainly not the truth. We definitely need to learn more about the Quran. There's a lot of myths about the Quran that need to be busted. Uh, and so I think from a, as a Christian, um, that's what I would love to see more of is how do we continue to engage with one another so they just see us as fellow brothers in Abraham. And then we can unite more once we get through all that and do all the good work that God wants us to do, which is to care for the orphan, care for the widow, care for the prisoner, uh, and, and, and create more peace in this world um, and lessen people's violent reaction to each other.